Hi, this is Jenny. Welcome for today's episode. We're going to be talking about Kolkaba's comfort theory, so let's dive in. Catherine Cathy Kolkaba is a theorist who developed the comfort theory. Her vision is comfort care for all. So let's get to know her a bit more. Kathy was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1944. In this timeline, we can see her educational background. She started developing the comfort theory around 1991, and then in 2008, she retired from full-time teaching. Even though she's retired, she remains to be active and busy. She's a guest lecturer, a co-coordinator, and volunteer nurse in the parish nursing program. She is a business consultant, and she continues to work on the comfort theory with Dr. Bias Braswell. The question is, what is comfort? Let's look at some concepts of the comfort theory to understand it better. Comfort interventions must be done in a timely manner. The nurse must be caring and empathetic to enhance patient's comfort. It's also holistic and patient-centered as we look to address different aspects of the patient's comfort needs. Comfort is a strengthening factor as it empowers patients to engage more in their interpersonal relationships, activities, and healthy behaviors. Now we're going to look at a conceptual framework for the comfort theory that was devised by Kolkava herself. So the first thing is we assess the healthcare needs of the patient and that helps us determine the nursing interventions that can enhance comfort, which leads to engagement in health-seeking behaviors. Therefore, as a result, um, institutions have better outcomes such as decrease in healthcare costs, improved patient satisfaction, and nurse retention. So there are three types of comfort, so ease, relief, and transcendence. And they occur within the four contexts of the comfort theory, which includes physical, psychospiritual, environment, and social comfort. Let's look at a case scenario. Mr. K is a 54-year-old male who is admitted in the neurosurgery step-down unit for a cyberarachnoid hemorrhage. Mr. K has an intense headache, neck pain, and nausea. He is sleep-deprived because it's loud and busy in the unit, and he feels anxious and overwhelmed with his situation. He is lonely and isolated as he misses his family and friends. Now we're going to be applying the concepts that we learned from the comfort theory to enhance Mr. K's comfort. In terms of physical comfort, we want to manage his pain so we can use assessment tools and follow the best practice guidelines by using a multimodal approach to, which is a combination of using an opioid and non-opioid medication to achieve optimal pain management. And then we will use antiemetics to treat his nausea. For environment, we want to reduce noise levels, so we address the alarms right away and then limit conversations in patient care areas to promote rest and sleep. And then we want to create a private and safe environment for our patient. In psycho-spiritual, we want to refer the patient to a social worker for counseling. And then we want to encourage the patient to verbalize fears and concerns and identify factors that provoke anxiety and then use coping strategies. And then we also want to provide some health teaching to address questions to decrease uncertainty. For social comfort, we want to set up video calls with family and friends and just being a social support for the patient by being present and just actively listening to their concerns. So for the next episode, we will have an exclusive interview with the one and only Kathy Kolkaba herself to chat about life, nursing, and everything in between. So here's a list of questions that I would like to ask Kathy during our conversation, so stay tuned for that episode. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video, and see you on the next one.